Philadelphia Baseball History presents Philly Killers Who Became Phillies, Kent Tacovey. Hey fans, welcome to Philadelphia Baseball History. I am your host, Bill Govech. Today we're going to talk about those Philly killers who go on to become Phillies. As a Phillies fan, you know when a certain player consistently plays well against your team. It's the guy who gives you a sinking feeling in your stomach when he comes to the plate or takes the mound against the Phils. One such player back in the late 1970s and early 1980s was Pirates relief pitcher Kent Tocoli. To set the stage, in the five seasons from 1976 through 1980, the Phillies won the NL East four times. The only year another team captured the division championship during that span was 1979, when the Pirates won the World Series. In fact, from 1976 to 1978, the Pirates finished second in the division, right on the tail of the Phils. During that time, their late-inning relief workhorse was one Kent Tocoli. Hailing from Cincinnati, Ohio, Tocoli debuted for the Pirates at age 27 on May 20, 1974. Whereas now Major League teams are reluctant to take a chance on a pitcher over the age of 30, DeColvey was in his prime at that age. Known as the rubber band man for his submarine style of throwing, Teak posted a 2.85 ERA for his career. It was 2.68 when he was mowing down batters for Pittsburgh. His lowest ERA came at age 36 at 1.64 in 99 innings. Pitching at a time before it was fashionable for teams to bring in a specialist, known as a closer, to shut the opposition down for the final inning of play, Tocolvi was a fireman who logged in multiple innings over his many appearances. In 1978, Teak pitched 91 games for a total of 135 and one-third innings, earning 31 saves. He repeated this performance in 1979, appearing in 94 games where he pitched 134 and one-third innings and again earned 31 saves. He appeared in five of the seven World Series games in 1979, earning three saves, which included Game 7. His winning percentage was 5.11 lifetime and 5.34 with Pittsburgh. Against the Phillies, it was a whopping 6.32 as he went 12-7. and seven. His ERA against the Phillies was 2.62, compared to his lifetime ERA of 2.85. Only three Phillies ever hit a home run off to Kofi. They were Mike Schmidt in 1981, and Gary Maddox and Von Hayes, who both hit their home runs in 1984. Teague stopped being a Phillies killer in 1985. After the 1983 season, he found himself in a public squabble with Pirates manager Chuck Tanner over the way he was used during the season. Pittsburgh traded him to Philadelphia for Al Holland and a minor league prospect. When he allowed only an infield hit over four innings in his first two starts, the Phillies made to Colby their closer for the remainder of the 1985 season. He posted a 2.99 ERA and notched 14 saves. Over the next three seasons, DeColfi served as the setup man for the 1987 Cy Young Award winner, Steve Bedrosian. He continued to be a workhorse, logging in 110 innings in 1986 while going 11-5 in relief for a 6.88 winning percentage. DeColfi appeared in 90 games in 1987, posting a respectable 3.09 ERA over 105 innings. Among the games in which he appeared was one on April 18, 1987, in Pittsburgh. In the top of the ninth, Mike Schmidt launched a three-run home run, which just so happened to be Schmidt's 500th and gave the Phils a lead of 8-6. to six. Tocolvi came in the game in the bottom of the ninth to shut down his former team, retiring Bobby Bonilla, Barry Bonds, and Sid Bream for the victory. Teak's last season with the Phillies was 1988. When the Phillies did not offer Teak a contract for the 1989 season, he entered spring trading as a non-roster player for the Reds and made the Major League team. Disappointed with his performance, DeColvey retired in July of that year. He later served as a Phillies broadcaster from 1991 through 1997. DeColvey learned that Phillies fans recognized and appreciated talent, even when that talent played for a division rival. DeColvey noted that when he made his first appearance in a Phillies uniform at Veterans Stadium, Phillies fans gave him a standing ovation. 
Impressed by the event, Tukovi later stated, the fans really didn't hate me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. The link is in the description box. We have t-shirts, hoodies, tote bags, mugs, and more with our designs in our merch store. Please visit the merch store at the link in the description box. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave a comment if you have any ideas for future videos. Give us a like and click the bell button if you would like to receive notification when we publish videos in the future.